so I was writing the other morning an article about server versus serverless functions and just as I was about to type in that basically you can't SSH into a Lambda function I thought I'd better check Google just to double check my facts and see if that's actually correct so when I typed it into Google I basically stumbled across this article by a guy called Clay Smith now the article itself is a couple of years old now written in 2017 but what was really interesting is actually that Clay was able to SSH into a Lambda function itself so I kind of caught my curiosity and I thought I'd have a little play with that today and see and if we can answer the question of whether you can actually SSH into a Lambda function. Now, of course, later on, maybe we'll get into the specifics of whether you should or whether you shouldn't and the implications of that. But I'm just curious to answer the question first, like, can you actually do it? So let's take a look. So I'm back. It's been about an hour, an hour and a half of tinkering with this and trying to get this up and running. Um, but basically, I, well, I failed failed to get it set up. However, I did get the Lambda function itself running, um, but I sort of didn't anticipate that also I would need to set up all the different bits, like, you know, you're going to need a network access to it, or at least like a jump box or a bastion that's within a VPC. So I started going through the whole process and it's taking quite a, a, a ton of time. But basically what I'll do instead is I'll take you through how it actually works and I'll show you how it works. Um, it's kind of interesting, quite curious, but yeah, as before, definitely wouldn't recommend this as an option. But uh, yeah, let me show you how it works because I think it's kind of cool. Okay, so let me show you where I got to. So here I have our Lambda function. I'm just gonna go ahead and start that. So if I hit test up here, and basically you can see the function running. So this is the SSH server is actually now running on the Lambda function. Now it's only gonna run for the lifetime of the Lambda itself, but everything is running. But what I didn't realize, and maybe if I'd have read the article a little bit closer, is basically Claire mentions this as well, which is uh, AWS Lambda functions do not seem to allow any inbound port access, yes, even if running in a VPC. And there's no easy way to automatically determine the IP address of a Lambda function. So this is kind of what I ran face first into when having a go with this is clearly it's not possible to easily SSH in to hit that server from the outside world. But the workaround that Clay put in place was basically to create a tunnel from the Lambda function itself to your local machine, and that would then allow you to have access to the Lambda function itself. Uh, this is something that I exposed that I didn't realize at the start when I started this, um, but it kind of makes sense now reading back over it uh, about why he came to that conclusion. Okay, so one other thing as well that I wanted to show you is actually how this works. So this is actually the GitHub repo where the code is for this. So if we have a look and just jump in here and have a look in this Lambda folder. So there's a Node.js Lambda here that's running this binary. So what that's essentially doing, let me just show you here, is that's using the child process with the node to run a binary. That binary itself is created in Golang. So if I just come back out of this directory up again, and then you'll see you've got a server in the tunnel. So that binary itself is here, so, which is our sort of SSH server. And the interesting bit in here, if I scroll down and find it, is right about here. So execute command bash. So this is basically where it's going to sort of proxy your requests into the Lambda function and run them sort of as an SSH server, uh, which is pretty cool. I thought it was pretty neat. And as we mentioned before as well, that you need a tunnel that goes back to your local machine, which is also in here as well. We found the answer to our question, which was, you know, can you run SSH in a Lambda function? And I think ultimately the answer is yes, kind of. Uh, definitely not support out of the box and definitely not something that I would recommend. And it's also something that the author definitely doesn't recommend either. But nonetheless, still kind of cool to see how it possibly could be done. Um, however, definitely jumping through a bunch of hoops to make that happen. Generally speaking, I think running SSH makes sense in the server world, right, where you have a static instance or a static machine with an IP that you can access or you can address directly. However, when it comes to running things at Lambda functions, it's clear that the IP itself is hard to find. The Lambda function itself or the machine uh, is ephemeral, so it's being recreated, and it just doesn't lend itself very well to the idea of SSH. So pretty cool. It was fun to have a play with and you know, sort of grateful that there are people that put this kind of stuff online that we can play with. Um, I'm a little bit sad that I didn't get it running in the end, but still pretty cool and you know answers the question of whether or not you can run SSH in a Lambda function.